When moms tuck their kids in for the night, the image of their child's peaceful expression is something that will stay in their minds for a lifetime. However, some parents may take it for granted that their children will be waiting with a smile on their face the next morning. Sadly, not all of our little angels get to wake up the next day. On February 28, 2016, Carrie Hall Vollmer put her 17-month-old baby girl in bed for the night, and that was the last time she ever saw her. If Carrie's three-year-old son hadn't been sleeping in her bedroom that night, he too would have succumbed to the same fate as his baby sister. Had the mother known ahead of time that there was a hidden danger in letting her two kids sleep on separate floors, she would never have allowed it to happen. She's now sharing her heartbreaking story, hoping that parents will learn from her tragic mistake and give more attention to their sleeping babies. That night, Carrie gently laid her daughter Sammy in her crib, and after a few minutes, the sweet girl fell peacefully into a deep sleep. On Facebook, Carrie said, The desperation and screeching panic in my husband's voice the next morning as he went to retrieve her from upstairs is something I'll never forget. I was making coffee in the kitchen, and as soon as he screamed Carrie, I knew something terrible happened. I stood still, I couldn't move a muscle waiting for what he was gonna say. He yelled my name again as he ran down the upstairs hallway. Carrie broke down in tears when she saw her husband cradle their baby daughter's limp body. Something had gone wrong during the night. To say that the parents were shocked and in disbelief would be an understatement. Carrie met her husband as he rushed down the stairs with their precious angel and she couldn't believe their baby daughter, who'd been so full of life just hours earlier, was now gone. Hyperthermia is a genuine danger to small children since they can't regulate their body temperature until they're about three to five years old. Doctors believe that Sammy didn't even wake up and her passing was relatively painless. Although we set our upstairs thermostat on 72 degrees, the heater was blasting upstairs and it felt like a sauna. The temperature registered 99 degrees in our thermostat, which was as high as it could go, meaning it was over 100 degrees, the mother said. The couple's son had been sleeping in the bedroom on the bottom floor since he's in that stage when he's scared of monsters under his bed. Had it not been for those childhood fears, doctors say that little Jackson would have probably followed in his sister's footsteps. After Carrie did further research, she discovered several other instances of hyperthermia in multiple story homes. She had educated herself as much as possible when she found out she'd become a mother for the first time, but this is something Carrie had never come across. Upon preparing to become a mother, I read multiple books and stories on possible dangers that could harm babies and toddlers. I wish I'd once read about this, she said. Hopefully, parents out there are now reading or listening to Carrie's story, so they won't have to go through the same heart-wrenching experience. Every parent should know how to protect their babies and toddlers from hyperthermia. Watch for signs of heat stroke, which can include a fever higher than 103 degrees, rapid pulse, dizziness, confusion, and skin that's hot to the touch. You should also let your kids sleep on the same story as your bedroom so you can feel when the temperature increases. Use a baby monitor that can measure the room's temperature and always keep space heaters out of your child's bedroom. These tips may seem like common sense, but sometimes it's a good idea to take a step back now and then to reevaluate what you've been doing or not doing. It may be too late for this heartbroken mother to change what happened, but Carrie hopes that by spreading the word, other parents will have enough knowledge to take potential life-saving measures of their own. Tragedy always seems to have a way of helping us learn and grow. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest uploads.